Hi my loves, welcome to a video diary. So if you guys are watching this, <laughs> if you guys are watching this um, while you do housework or whatever, don't worry about having to watch the screen. You don't have to watch the screen. <laughs> In fact, just like set your phone or whatever you're watching this on aside and just listen. Just simply listen to me talk. <laughs> um, I'm filming this vertical. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting sick, you guys. So you're going to hear me sniffle and wheeze and cough. So yeah, um, just set this aside and just simply listen to me. In fact, sometimes I just want to go like this and just talk. <laughs> this is why I need a podcast instead of a, a YouTube channel, because then I can just talk and you guys can just listen to me. Um, but this is just going to be one of those kind of videos. So you don't have to watch the screen. You can do some other things. So anyways, um, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. It's bill day. Um, so I just got done paying all the bills. That's like the first thing I do. As soon as I get my paycheck, I pay my bills. That's like the first thing that I have to do because I have learned my lesson a long time ago. Oh my gosh, my eyelid. I'm so itchy. You guys, I have, sorry, this, that's com completely like switching off. Um, I have like dry, dryness on the top of my eyelid and it's like you could kind of see it <laughs> you could kind of see it right there um I don't know my skin is all messed up so anyways um whenever I so I learned my lesson there was like one time where I got paid and I didn't pay my bills when I was supposed to and I ended up spending my money, not all of it, but I spent, it, I spent a good chunk of my money before I paid the bills and then I was paying for it later so um, ever since I did that, I was like, I, I just told myself I need to get into the habit of paying my bills first and then whatever money I have left over, that's the money I play with. And if I don't have anything left over, then too bad, you know? <laughs> so, um, and so that's what I did. I was like drinking coffee. My husband made me some coffee this morning. And so I was drinking coffee. I had oatmeal with some strawberries. Um, for those of you guys who like to know, what am I eating? <laughs> <laughs> so I had some oatmeal, some strawberries. I, I like cut up some strawberries and put it on top of the oatmeal. I put some brown sugar in the oatmeal. Um, I make my oatmeal with water. I don't make it with milk. My sister likes to make hers with milk, but I don't, I don't like that. I, I like it with water. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> um, and so I'll make my cream of wheat with milk, but my, my oatmeal, no, my oatmeal is water and some brown sugar. Um, and so I had that for breakfast with some coffee and, um, and then just paying bills. So it was like a magical breakfast. My husband was eating, I think he found egos in the freezer. I was like, you better make sure that those aren't like <laughs> expired. <laughs> and so, um, he had that for breakfast and I paid all the bills to this month, this week. Um, it was a lot of bills that had to be paid. So a nice big probably 75% of my check is gone <laughs> for bills. But hey, at least the bills are paid. At least I know, huh, Luna? Look at Luna. Can you guys see her? At least I know um, we're going to have electricity. We're going to have the roof over our heads for another month. <laughs> um, and we have like, <clears throat> everything is just paid for. So I'd rather, you know, know that all my bills are paid and not have any money left over than you know, not have any money to pay my bills. So there you go. So yeah, so pretty much that's that. Um, I keep touching my hair. My hair feels really, it feels real soft today. I, I, I switched up my shampoo. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. And then what else did we do this morning? Um, I showed my husband what to make for dinner, which is literally just throw the DiGiorno pizza in the oven. Like we're gonna keep it super simple because he's not much of a cook. <laughs> and so I told him, can you handle putting the pizza in the oven? He's like, yes, I can. So, <laughs> so that's what he's going to do. He's going to throw that in. And then I told him just eat without me because I don't get home till late. I have a little stain right here. That's nice. <laughs> um, and then I told him, I was like, I don't roll in till after eight. He's like after eight. And I go, well, yeah, I get off work at seven. It takes a fucking hour to drive up here. So yeah, I usually roll in by like 8.15. So I told him, don't wait up for me for, for dinner. I'll just eat, I'll heat it up later. And so that's that. And then I'm 
Okay, I thought that the little alarm was going off. I, I'm hard boiling eggs right now, so I have my little alarm set on my oven for the for the eggs to boil. It's because I'm gonna make um, an egg sandwich for lunch. This way I'm not tempted to buy whatever I want and not have the money to technically buy it. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying not to spend money on things, on food. Like so much of my check, I don't know about you guys, like I'm sure a lot of people are the same way, but so much of my check goes to bills and then food. I like to buy like fun stuff, like I'll go to Barnes and Noble, like fun stuff for me is books and tarot decks. Not so much crystals. I haven't really bought crystals so much anymore, but tarot decks or books. Like books is like my number one thing that I like to buy. And then every once in a while, I like to go to like Ross and go shopping and get some clothes and stuff. But um, <laughs> but for me, it's food. And I, I like to, you know, spend my money on sushi or I love Starbucks. So I'll usually go get a Starbucks. I like to get like their um, the peach green tea. Like that's my favorite right now. So I'll get a peach green tea and then like if I don't pack a lunch or whatever, I'll buy one of their little sandwiches that they have and then I'll get like a bag of chips from the vending machine. Like that's my lunch at work. And, um, <laughs> but you know, Starbucks is lunches. Their, their little sandwiches are freaking expensive. So rather than spending all that, I'm like, I'm just going to hard boil eggs and make my own egg sandwich. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and then, um, and yeah, so that was this morning and what else did we do? My hubby left. He's going to go run some errands and he has a doctor's appointment because he's worse than I am. Like my nose is running right now, but so far it's like everything's staying put, <laughs> but he's just really bad. Like he's congested and like, oh, there we go. My eggs are ready. Ugh, come with me, you guys. Um, he's all congested and coughing up nastiness. So he, he wanted to go to the doctor because he starts work on Monday and he doesn't want to be um, coughing up all that nastiness when he's working. Plus, my husband's a big baby when he's sick, so. Whoa. Oh, whoa. I knew that was going to happen. Let's see if I could get this just to balance. Just to balance real fast. Put my shirt down. Okay. Well, one of my eggs exploded in here, but but hey. <laughs> Still good. So it's only 10 o'clock. Um, I'll let them sit before I crack them open and make the egg salad. <coughs> I need to get a tissue. <laughs> I am not feeling good. Yesterday, yesterday I could feel it really starting to happen. Um, but today, man, <laughs> I just feel even worse. <laughs> I feel even worse. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to blow my nose. Oh. I hate that feeling where like, <coughs> now I'm all like, I feel it, I start to feel it like in here in my chest. Um, that feeling where like you have that tingle in your nose, like you need to sneeze. And when you finally sneeze, like you feel so much better. That's how I feel today. And then also, um, Starla, <laughs> also today, um, like I feel like I need to blow my nose. Like I feel like I have so much stuff to come out. And then when I go to blow it, it's like nothing really comes out because I'm just congested. So. It's an awful feeling. Um, so anyways, just going to do that. It was an easy morning. I'm really enjoying having my husband home, you guys. It's just so nice. So he's home until Monday, and then he starts his actual 
thing <laughs> Monday. So Monday's a big day. And then um, that's when we find out, like, what is his schedule going to be like? He's going to... Um, He's going to have his training officer with him for a month um, for the first one. So he has like a total of three of them, I think. Um, and so he has one with one month and then another one with another month. And so they each, they have different schedules. So he's going to be doing their schedules. And then after four months, if he passes, if they pass him and he's good, then he'll be patrolling on his own unless he does graveyards and he'll be with a partner. But, um... I'm just looking forward to seeing what his schedule is going to be like and then pr pretty much pretty much trying to morph my life to somewhat complement his um, as much as I can. So <laughs> I think like me and my husband were talking about this yesterday when we were driving home because um, he came down the hill with me to go to work. He dropped me off at work and he was you know running running errands and he was hanging out with his parents. So we were driving home last night and um, we were just talking about, well, pretty much my husband's like, life is going to change for us. And I was like, it really is. Um, and I was like, it's going to change for the positive, but I'm sure we're going to have some challenging times in, ahead too. And so I told him, um, I'm excited though. Like, I'm really excited. And so he asked me what was the one thing that I'm most nervous about and I told him um I'm nervous about our schedules like my schedule my work schedule is clashing with your schedule and not ever seeing you I go that's the only thing I'm worried about I mean I'm worried obviously I'm worried for his safety like I want my husband to come home every night I want him to be safe he puts he's going to be putting his life on the line you know that stuff scares me too but I can't dwell on that because that'll just drive me crazy so I just, to me, it's like, he's training, he's being trained, he's been training. <laughs> he he has a level head on his shoulders. Like, I know my husband's going to be as safe as he possibly can be. Um, and, you know, that's just where your faith comes in for that. But um, other than that, I told him, like, I am, I'm nervous about, I'm nervous about the schedules clashing because I do work. I work. Um, so at least for now, I work. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just told him, you know, that's the only thing. Like, I want to make sure I have at least a day with him. You know, I'm, I'm used to that. We did that before when he was working at a previous job. You know, we only had Mondays. Monday was like the only day we had together. Other than that, it was like when I was going to work, he was coming home. Like, we were in opposite schedules. <clears throat> so, um, so that's the only thing I'm nervous about is that, um, but I just trust that everything is going to work out as it's supposed to. And the nice thing about my job is that um, I'm only part-time. So I'm only there three days out of the week. Four days on my... The, if I work a Saturday, then I'm there four days. But if I don't, then I'm only working three days out of the week. Um, and we're closed Fridays and Sundays. So to me, it's like I know for a fact Friday and Sunday I'll be home. Um, so if he has to work the weekends and whatnot, which he most likely will be, <laughs> um, that would leave the weekdays. And so that's where I'm nervous because I work weekdays. So it's just, it's going to take some getting used to, but it's one of those things where I see it as a temporary discomfort, um, because my work situation is probably going to be temporary. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to allow myself to fly <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't know when that's gonna happen it will happen I will say that but I don't know when um I just I have some things that I need to take care of before I decide not to work anymore um at least at that job um I want to pay off my credit card balance because I <laughs> I put up I put um, I have a balance on my credit card now thanks to this whole oh sorry guys Thanks to this whole academy experience, um, it wasn't cheap, you know, so I had to pay for flights and I had to pay for just the flight, the hotel, like just this last week I added a good chunk of money on my credit card. Um, so I want to pay it off. I want to zero out my credit card before um, I decide to leave my job. Um, and the only reason why I would leave my job is one for two reasons. One, because the commute is a lot. I drive 120 miles round trip for work. 
Um, and so that's expensive in gas. And, um, and right now you guys remember when I was talking about gas, <laughs> gas prices. So right now in California, gas is well over $4. Um, my husband and I filled up at a gas station up North when we were driving down, we almost paid $5 a gallon. It was fucking ridiculous. So gas is really expensive right now. Um, but on average gas was floating around like $3.30 to $3.50. That's usually when it was floating around. But right now it's like well over $4 a gallon. So um, gas is expensive. And then driving 120 miles round trip for work gets really exhausting after a while. Like it's just, it's just not fun. <laughs> and it's a lot. So um, my six hour shift, like the most I work is six hours in a day because I work part-time. Um, so a six-hour shift ends up turning into a full day, like an eight-hour day, because it takes me an hour to get down and then an hour to get back up. So, um, you know, <laughs> it's an eight-hour day. And so that's the one reason, that's the first reason why I would I would stop working, is pretty much if we're going to be staying here, up here where we live right now, um, that commute is just, it's just too much after a while. Like, I don't want to have to do it. Um, and then the other reason, obviously, is because if my husband can, if we could, if my husband could support both of us with his income, um, and then I can focus on cackling moon and just doing something that I love and not necessarily worrying about how much money I'm bringing in, but doing something that I love and then still making some money off of it, why not? Why not, right? And then also me being home would allow me to have more time to spend with my husband versus like trying to work it around my work schedule, you know? So it's just a lot to think about. There's a lot of different things that are like floating around <laughs> in my head and a lot of diff different like, you know, a lot of pathways that we could take, but that's basically where I'm at. I'm just at that point right now where um, it's not a matter of if I'm gonna leave my job, it's a matter of when, um, but it's not gonna be for a while. I still have some stuff I gotta do, so yeah. But that's on my mind. <laughs> um, but of course, like these next four months, while well, my husband's like in training with his training officer, um, this it's not going to be his schedule. His schedule won't start to really kick in his, his schedule until he's done with the training portion. So it, there's just going to be a lot of like Starla, oh my God, she's driving me crazy. <laughs> There's just gonna be a lot of um, uncertainties for the next few months until he's set. So we just gotta roll with it. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then the cats, oh my gosh. So my husband gave me his little spray bottle. I have a spray bottle here. We have a little bit of water in it. So the gatas, they like to fight every once in a while. And I think it's because like Luna, Luna plays with Starla. Like she does, she plays. But then after a while, it's like, I'm not playing with you anymore. And so Starla doesn't know when to stop. And then they start to fight. So they don't fight, fight. Like, like they're not, it's not like, they're not like drawing blood and like, you know, crying and screaming at each other. Like, you know how cats get. It's not like that. It's just, they do like to wrestle. And then, um, Luna will hiss. And I don't think Starla realizes what she's doing. So I don't like that. I don't like to see that. So I told my husband, I'm going to spray them with water <laughs> when I see them do that. Like if I catch them. And I've only caught them doing it twice. They did it this morning and then they were doing it last night. So um, I'm going to just spritz them with water if I see them get like that. Just to kind of get them away from doing that. Because I don't want Starla to think that she can boss Luna around. That's not cool. Luna was here first. Um, and then, but the cool part was, was that yesterday I saw Luna stick up for herself. So Luna, <laughs> Starla was bugging her. And instead of Luna like running away, like she was doing before, now that my husband's home, I think it gives Luna a little bit more confidence because my husband is Luna's favorite. Um, so she was sticking up to Starla. So <laughs> it's just, it's just one of those things. Like Luna is, Luna's not the most, oh, no, she's over there. Luna's not the most friendly cat. Um, she's very picky and choosy about who she wants to be around and whatnot. And then Starla is just a kitten. Like Starla's seven months now. Um, 
yeah, seven months. Um, so Starla is just a kitten, and um, she just doesn't know when to stop. So I let them be, but when I see them like fighting like that, I'm I'm gonna spray them with water. I don't know if that's necessarily the bad, the right thing to do, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then hopefully they will snap out of it and not do that anymore. So we'll see. Um, what else? I don't know. I just feel like I've just been like, I feel like I'm just updating you guys on my life. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny how my husband and I got sick at the same time, but it's not funny. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks, but I feel bad for him because he got hit harder with it. So I think he got sick from somebody up in the academy and then just like gave it to me that day that I came up there. So I told him, I think I'm like a day or two behind you. <laughs> in the sickness because I was feeling good. I was feeling okay yesterday. I was like, I had mocos and stuff, but today I feel a little bit worse. So I'm hoping it doesn't develop as bad as his has, but yeah. So anyways, you guys, um, I just wanted to jump on here and do like a little update video and just ramble. I know some of you guys like to just listen to it. <laughs> You guys like to just listen to me ramble while you do whatever. So I hope you guys are having a really good week. Um, I'm still trying to get through the pet cemetery. I'm enjoying it though. It's actually really good. But I am trying to finish it this week. So I want to be finished with it by Sunday. That's my deadline. So I'm going to try to read a good chunk of it today at work and then read a lot of it tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. And then um, I want to finish it by Sunday and then start my next book. I have it over there that I really want to read. So I'm on a Stephen King kick right now, which is funny because I was never really interested in Stephen King, especially last year after I read Salem's Lot. I was just kind of like, I was disappointed. <laughs> I didn't like it. I thought it was going to be way creepier than what it was. Um, So I'm hoping that these books like pet cemetery is it's been a little bit creepy and then i'm hoping it will be really good so i'm on a stephen king kid kick this year um but yeah <laughs> other than that you guys i'm gonna go ahead and go let my phone charge upload this video have a good rest of your week it's wednesday so it's hump day which means we are halfway through the work week um get through it you guys you could do it and um yeah I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.